Pen. Slightly different pen. It is a good pen. Uh, today's October 2nd. Here's an outline for the final. Here's what you're going to see on the uh, Here's an outline for this test. Final. No. We, all right. First thing. Yeah, Toby, you think we're behind. We're so ahead. You have to take two final. <laughs> First section, I'm going to be giving you um, uh, vectors in two space. Okay. And I'm going to ask questions like find unit vector. Take a vector divided by its magnitude. I will ask for the magnitude. I will ask for a dot product. I would ask for the cosine of the angle. I would certainly ask for the projection of one vector on another. That's, that's uh, something that's pretty important. We're going to need that later on. Those are the kinds of things I'm going to be asking you for. I'll give you the two vectors and ask for these base, oh, uh, the sum and the difference. Well, there's four questions, but there's some things I want you to know. There's six topics here. I'm going to ask you four, four questions. Okay. Second part. Second part, uh, five through nine, is I'm going to be giving you vectors in three space. Is that second thing magnitude? This is magnitude, yes. Okay. <laughs> What's that? U plus V and U minus V. Uh, given vectors in three space, you know, they're like the same questions. Uh, find cosine of the angle. Find a unit vector. Uh, find the cosine of the angle between any two of those vectors. I'm going to ask for a vector orthogonal or perpendicular to two of the vectors. So what do I expect you to do here? I expect you to find the cross product, okay? Because when you find the cross product, you will be finding a vector orthogonal or perpendicular to two given vectors. <coughs> I may ask for the area of the parallelogram determined by two vectors. And what that is, is the magnitude of their cross, okay? The magnitude of the cross product is the area of the parallelogram determined by the two vectors. Okay. Um, I may ask you for the height and volume, the volume of a parallel pipette. Which is their triple scalar product. Okay. Triple scalar product here. In any order, take the absolute value because you may get a negative number depending on the order that you do things. And I may ask for the height of that parallel pipette. Now let me tell you something about this here. I, I'll, let me tell you this. this is, I remember every semester people mess this one up all the time. But here's the deal. If you know the area of the base and you know the volume, how do you find the height? What's that? That is perfect. That's absolutely the way to go. As opposed to trying to find the magnitude, the projection of the vector on the, on the cross product, which will give you that same thing. Gee, do it the way Janus just said. Take the volume divided by the area of the base. That'll give you the height. Okay, I'm just telling you. That'll make the test easier. Yes, go ahead. Um, what are those? Are those uh, magnitude in the parentheses? No, that's absolute values. Right here? These are magnitudes here. This, this is a cross product. This is the uh, um, magnitude of the cross. And this is the absolute value of the triple scalar product. Okay. So you're just, it's going to be a positive number. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, 10 through 15, third section. Uh, I'm going to be giving you some points in space. I'll be giving you some points, a few of them. I want you to be able to find the equation of the line through two of them. I want you to be able to tell me how two lines are related. The same parallel intersecting skew. Those are the four possibilities. Oh boy, I want you to be able to calculate or find normal uh, to the plane of two of the lines, uh, normal to the plane determined by three points. In other words, if you're given three points, I want you to be able to calculate that normal vector to the plane determined by these three points by doing what we did the other day in class, right? Calculate a vector PQ, calculate vector PR, take their cross. When you take the cross of those two vectors, you're going to have a normal to the plane determined by those three points, OK? So make sure you can do that. I'll put this, OK? This will be um, that kind of a thing, OK? The cross product of those two vectors. Uh, and then I want you to find the equation of the plane determined by three points. Okay. Oh, wow. And then I'm going to ask you, wow, holy mackerel, I do this. The cosine of the angle of elevation. Of that plane with the xy plane. Angle of elevations are always calculated with respect to the xy plane. So you're going to have your plane intersecting the xy plane. I want that angle of elevation. Well, it's pretty simple because what you have to do is find the angle between the two normals of the two planes. You're already going to have your normal vector in order to determine your plane of your plane. And the normal vector that you use for the xy plane is going to be 0, 0, 1. Okay? That's the normal vector to the xy plane. So that should be pretty simple. Okay? The, the difficult part about that question is just knowing what to do. You want to find the cosine of the angle between the two normals, which means what? You're going to find their dot product divided by the product of their magnitudes. Okay? That's how you find the cosine of an angle. So that, sh that shouldn't be too bad. And then 15 through 17 is I'm going to give you a surface. Elevation. Yeah. It's a difficult. It's got four syllables, Ted. So I don't know. If, yeah. you, know you may not I'm, have I'm seen not that before. Those, like, <laughs> polysyllabic. Those, words, those polysyllabic words. words. Yeah. I didn't do so hot on the SATs. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be surprised if you didn't do so hot. I would be very surprised. I, I would be willing to bet you did quite well. But that's all right. I did all right. What's I'm sure well? you did. I don't know. They're different now. I would, uh, I would say 600 at least for uh, the verbal, the, uh, the English part, and the math part. Uh, did you have a written part, too? Did yeah. You had the a written, written part I didn't do well on. I was like high six in math. And, um, I would put you in the almost, six. Almost six in yeah. reading. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, that's about where I would put you. Yeah, it's a good score, solid. They're better than, better than average, that's for sure. All right. Um, so I'm going to be giving you a surface. Something or other. 
boy. Okay, let, let me let me do this. Given some surface, and I'm going to ask you for the three traces. Okay, I'm going to ask for the th find the three traces. There's three questions. So, for example, if you have to do the xy trace, this should be a very simple section as well. How do you find the xy trace? You let z equal 0. You're going to get x squared minus y squared equals 1. And what is that conic section? Hyperbola. Hyperbola, and that's the answer. Okay. Your answers are ellipses, circles, hyperbolas, parabolas, whatever they are. Okay. So that's that section. That should be pretty simple. And then 18 through 20 is I'm going to be giving you some rectangular coordinates. in rectangular and I'm going to ask for things like um, um, find R or theta in cylindrical and find rho or theta in spherical I don't even ask you for phi, that inverse cosine thing. Uh, it's the inverse cosine of z over the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. I'm not going to ask you for that. But you should be able to find rho in spherical. If you find theta in cylindrical, that's the same theta that you have in spherical. So that shouldn't be too bad either. Okay? What do you think? No, I thought you said something about it. So not giving us formulas or something like that. Um, you know what, that was, that was from the, uh, when we do the triple integrals with the spherical coordinates and you needed integrating factor, rho squared sine phi, I'd give you that. So for, for uh, right. Thursday's test, oh, man. for Thursday's test, um, I would give you these coordinates in rectangular and ask you to find uh, r and theta in cylindrical or like I, just like I said here. Okay, you should be able to do that. It's pretty pretty straightforward there. Uh, that is your test, okay? I think what I said is I would do the lab on Monday or Tuesday. I'm concerned about the few people that aren't here. I'm not sure what it said exactly about today, but I didn't think I was doing the lab today. They said the lab was Monday. Yeah, I think I said the lab Monday, so I prefer to do that when those people are here. I would take any questions you guys have, though. You're here. Uh, I'm here. If you have any questions at all, I could certainly do that. If you had any questions. What's that? Is somebody? Okay. I'll see you Monday. I'll do the lab. I'll take any questions. Tuesday? I'll take any questions you have. Wednesday? Maybe, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, see ya.